Greetings, people of Earth and fellow Canadians and fellow British Columbians. Okay, so welcome to the COVID Chronicles. Um, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking. I remember when I was a kid, you know, and we would think about, uh, well, I guess even as an adult, uh, you know, you think of these kind of, I don't know, siege scenarios, uh, end of days type scenarios, apocalyptic type scenarios, you know, you watch movies like Red Dawn, Independence Day, or whatever it is, right? Uh, War of the Worlds, these sorts of things. And, uh, you know, you watch these things and then you kind of imagine yourself in those scenarios and you imagine what it would be like in your neighborhood or your area or whatever. All those times, one thing I never anticipated, never, is that there would be a run on toilet paper. That the hot item wouldn't be guns, right? It wouldn't be, I don't know, canned tuna, uh, oil, gasoline, but toilet paper. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, um, and here's what's really strange about this. Um, this is not a local phenomenon. This is everywhere in the world. People are hoarding toilet paper. There isn't a shop you will find that doesn't have a shortage of toilet paper. So, and I mean, there's been stories already of people going out and selling on Amazon for, I don't know, $70 a bundle. And you know what? If you're buying it on Amazon for $70 a bundle, you're an idiot. You are an idiot, okay? You're stupid. Please don't do that. Let's not blame these people for price gouging. I mean, it's kind of a douchebag thing. Yeah, I get it. But if you're stupid enough to pay that much, that's on you, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you why you don't need to hoard toilet paper. Um, see, I've met a guy that uh, worked at Charmin, actually. And, um, you know, I'm in a related, well, no, not a related industry. I am in the consumer goods industry. Okay, so I have a pretty good understanding of how stuff works. You know, it's manufactured, it's warehoused, it's distributed to stores, it's purchased, and it flows through like that, right? Now, <clears throat> with a lot of consumer goods, uh, you know, you can have a lot of peaks and valleys, right? For example, uh, Red Bull, you know, Red Bull can sell a shit ton of product and then they can sell nothing at all. Red Bull could stop selling altogether. Energy drinks could stop selling altogether and move on to something else, right? Or they could sell tremendous amounts. You know, there is a wide variance based on uh, promotion, distribution, availability, all this stuff, right? And that's, that's kind of the way with most, um, most consumer goods, but it's not the way with toilet paper. Have you ever used more toilet paper because it was better toilet paper? Have you ever used more because it was cheaper? Uh, have you ever used more because you had a lot? Have you ever used more toilet paper because it was free? The answer is no, 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 and no. You see, <clears throat> this is a function that is governed um, just by daily bodily functions, right? And I won't get any more graphic than that. I think we all understand it perfectly well. So if you... So, and, and, and the people that are producing toilet paper, the Charmins or whoever the hell else, Scott Tissue, I guess, or whoever, whoever makes toilet paper, they've gotten pretty good at gauging the uh, forecasting, engaging the volume that Canadians or whatever country, whatever country this applies to, uh, they know how much you're going to use over the course of a year, how much. And it's, you know, they're all just fighting for more of that share, right? They'll put theirs on a special price. So you use more of theirs and less of somebody else's. But the overall usage of toilet paper is really only going to be governed um, by the number of people in the country or in the area. Unless, of course, somebody opens a Mexican restaurant, then, hey, none of this applies. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so really, so you know what? All the people that are hoarding toilet paper now, they still have lots, by the way. The problem, one of the problems with distribution of toilet paper is that it's bulky. You can only get X amount onto a truck. Like each one takes up about this much space, right? It's not, it's not a weight issue. Um, it's, there's only so many units that can fit into a tractor trailer and so many that can fit into a warehouse. 
They have lots. Their warehouses are full. They will be replenishing it. All those people that have hoarded it, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess you'll use through it eventually, but that just means in a couple of weeks or a month, you're not going to be buying it. You're not going to be restocking your own house, right? So this is why you don't need to worry about a toilet paper shortage because it is forecast well in advance. Um, and another thing you have to keep in consideration is there's very little um, in, in the way of this virus that's going to affect the supply chain. If anything, it might improve because home supplies, um, they can divert more into home supplies because restaurants, sporting events, and all this stuff will be using less, right? So that should work out pretty well even uh, over the grand scheme of things, right? Um, and <clears throat> if, you look at, if you look at the manufacturing and the distribution of an item like toilet paper, it's really not gonna be affected by quarantine so much. Trucks are still gonna be moving. I guarantee you, those will be the last things. I mean, one person sitting in a truck and then dropping something off at a warehouse, that is minimal contact, trust me. <laughs> they, they're, they're a solitary bunch, they're in quarantine, they're driving a truck down a highway, okay? And people in a warehouse, I mean, that's a very easy, um, that's a very easy job to kind of isolate from other people and minimize contact, you know? You can do it with shifts, you can um, allocate different areas to them. So you're not gonna have any problems there. So that stuff is gonna keep running. The manufacturing of it uh, should not be affected, even if it comes from overseas. You know, it's either shipping long enough that any virus on it is gonna die. Um, and, and, you know, same thing applies to all those places. So nothing is gonna disrupt the flow of toilet paper. You don't have to worry about a shortage. Nobody is gonna be using more. So hoarding it is absolutely stupid. It's senseless. It just creates a false sense of panic, okay? So don't do it. Relax. And if you don't have toilet paper, don't worry. There's going to be more in in a week or so. I mean, some asshole may have done you out of it for a week, but it, it'll be stocked again. Find something else. Use tissues or, or whatever, right? So that's it, okay? Toilet paper, you don't need to hoard it.